In this video, what we are going to focus on is consumer arithmetic and we are going to look on profit and loss. Now, in our everyday life, we buy goods and we sell goods, right? So you always go to the supermarket to buy products. Sometimes your mom send you out or you personally go there to purchase some items. And sometimes you sell back these items, right? So profit and loss is an everyday life topic. You know, people sell because when you buy things from the shopkeeper or from the supermarket or from the clothes store, they sell you at a cost that they make a profit most times, right? Sometimes they made a loss, but most times they make a profit. Now, there are some key terms that you need to remember, right? The first one is cost price. What is cost price? This is the price at which an article is purchased. Right? So for example, when you go to the supermarket and you purchase a bottle of water for $100, that $100 would be the cost price of that bottle of water. Another key term that you need to remember is mark price. The, the price on the label of the article or product is called the mark price or list price. This is the price at which product is intended to be sold for. For example, when you go into the supermarket and let's say you're going to the supermarket to purchase bonds and when you look on the shelf right where the bonds are packed you will see the price for the bond those price are called the mark price that is the price that the product is intended to be sold for another key term that you need to remember is selling price this is the price at which an article is sold for example you go into a clothes store and you you want to buy a pair of jeans right and the, the store clerk, clerk told you that the pair of jeans costs two thousand dollars right and you pay $2,000 for that pair of jeans, then that is the selling price of that jeans, right? Another term that you need to remember is profit. If the selling price is more than the cost price, the difference between the, them is a profit, right? For example, you purchase a bottle of water for $100, right? And then you sold back that bottle of water to your friend for $110. Note there that your selling price is greater than the cost price. It means that you would have made a profit of $10 because you sell it for $10 more than what you purchase it for. Now, another term that you need to remember is the loss if the selling price is less than the cost price the difference between them is a loss for example the same bottle of water that you purchased for $100 you will sell it for $90 right there and then you would have made a loss because the selling price is less than what you pay for the bottle of water which is $90 so you would have made a loss of $10 in that case okay what we're going to do we're now going to look and some 
examples, right? So the first example that I'm going to look on says Jackson purchased a toy car at $125 and sold it at $138. State whether there is a profit or, or a loss and how much. Now, from this question here, the toy cost $125. So that's the cost price of the toy. Now, the selling price of the toy is $138. And clearly, you can see that the selling price is greater than the cost price. Because the selling price is greater than the cost price, it means that there is a profit. Now, to determine the profit, all you have to do is to subtract the cost price from the selling price. As you can see right here, I have profit equal to selling price minus cost price. Note that SP means selling price and CP means cost price. So it is the selling price minus the cost price, which is equal to $138 minus $123, which gives us a profit of $13, right? Now to example number two. Ali purchased a bag for $230 and sold it and sold it for $175. State whether there is a profit or a loss and how much. No. The bag costs $230. No. Ali sold the bag for $175. Note here that the cost price is greater than the selling price, which means that there is a loss. Right? So in other words, the selling price is less than the cost price. So therefore, there is a loss. Now, how can you determine the loss algebraically? Loss is equal to the cost price minus the selling price. So the cost price is 230 subtract 175, which equals to $55. So therefore, Ali would have made a loss of $55. Albert bought his bicycle for $275. He sold it for $350. What was the amount of his profit? So let's write down all the information that we know. So we know that he bought a bicycle for $275. So that would be the cost price. So C P will equal to $275. We know that he sold it for $350. So SP is equal to $350. And we know that they want us to determine the profit. So they want us to determine the profit. That's what we don't know. So we know the cost price of the item and we know the selling price of the item. So therefore, I'm going to use P for profit. So therefore, profit is equal to selling price minus cost price, right? So profit is equal to, what's the selling price? 350, so it's going to be 350 minus the cost price, which is 275. Therefore, the profit is going to equal to 350 minus 275, that's going to be 75.
So his profit is $75, right? So Albert would have made a profit of $75 after, sold, after he sold his bicycle. Question 4. Mr. Robert bought a gas cooker for $945. He sold it to a customer for $803.25 due to damage. Calculate his loss. Again, we're going to write down all the information that we know. So we know the cost price of the item So we know the cost price of the item is $945, right? We know that the selling price of the item is $803.25, right? And they want us to determine his loss. So they want us to determine his loss. So that's what we want to find, the loss. I'm going to use L for loss. Therefore, loss is equal to cost price minus selling price. So loss is equal to the cost price, which is 945 minus the selling price, which is $803. And 25 cents right now we could work work out this so we could say here what I'm going to do or for it out. so we could say nine four five point zero zero minus eight zero three point two five subtract Zero minus five, we can't, so we're going to go over to the ones place. We're going to take one, leave us with four, place the one here, get ten, take one from the ten, leave us with nine, put it here. So now we have ten minus five, that's going to give us five. Nine minus two, that's going to give us seven. Put back our decimal point. Four minus three, that leaves us with one. 4 minus 0, that leaves us with 4. And 9 minus 8, that leaves us with 1. So therefore, his loss is going to be $141.75. Right? So, Mr. Robert would have lost $141.75 due to damage on the gas cooker. So he has to sell it for a reduction price. And that is how you determine the profit of an item or you determine the loss on an item. Okay. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.